All right, we've got four-time F1 world champion Alan Prost with us. Uh, Alan, welcome to Dubai. Uh, I know you've been at a number of festivals across the world, but how good is it to be here? Oh, it's nice to be uh, nice to be in Dubai. Um, I, re I really wanted to see this event, and obviously Nicola, my son, is uh, driving the, the car, and I know Fred for a long time. So it's, it's quite nice to be in this uh, environment. And Dubai has always been very positive, good ambience, but uh, on, on this track today, I find that again. And it's good to see also the, the old car, the old uh, friends, a lot of uh, old drivers, they are here just, just, to be, just to be there, you know, so it's very simple, good atmosphere and uh, the human side is very important for me. So we, we find it back and uh, with all these uh, stories behind us, you know. Yeah, obviously the weather also much nicer than it is back at home, I'm sure. But we saw the 1991 Ferrari, of course, uh, one of your old cars. Any memories that pop up when you see that piece of machinery? Because it sounds so pure. It's very simple. It's the best, the best Formula One. Uh, in, in my my opinion, is the best period period of Formula One. Obviously, I prefer the one of 1990 because yeah. I om I was almost world champion. This one was a little bit different. But if you look at the car itself, it's a beauty, yeah. you know. And the noise of the engine is unbelievable. And uh, it's a it's a perfect car for me. It's very simple. Not too much aerodynamic. Not, not tricky at all and um, it was good for the engineers because they could, they could still uh, work very hard on, the, on almost everywhere. Uh, we, had, we still had some limits but much less than, uh, than now and uh, when I look some, at some pictures of this car, some tracks, I mean, I say that's a, that's a beauty and I'm very proud that uh, I've been a driver of the type of car like this. As you said, Alan, you're friends with uh, Fred and everyone that runs this uh, revival. I know we've spoken about so many different festivals across the globe in terms of motorsport, but how proud are you to see Dubai soak up the atmosphere? I mean, look at the crowd around you here. Everyone seems to want a piece of the old machinery, the iconic cars of Formula One and Le Mans too. Yeah, yeah as I said, uh, it's unbelievable, this, this ambience. and uh, It's good to keep this kind of ambience, not, not to be too... Uh, too much, you know, not too yeah. professional in yeah. a way. I mean, uh, I like to see the cars going now. They are going for an exhibition, yeah. just for fun, not not specially races. Yeah. Like uh, because you you need to respect the the cars also. You need to respect the history. They are, they are quite old cars, so you have to be careful. And it's good that people also watch what they because there's a lot of young people. They are interested by Formula One just now, but now they can imagine what uh, kind of uh, cars we were driving uh, at this period. Finally, there's not only your Ferrari, but we've got the footwork here. You've got the Alan Jones uh, Williams from the past. You've got the Tyrrells. You've got so many cars like the James Hunt Heskett as well. Any others that for you pop out and remind you of uh, special memories too? Every car you show me, every, every car has an history and every car has a, also an history. You're talking about James Hunt. I never drove against James Hunt but he was a good friend of mine because he was working on the BBC you know, when, I, when I started Formula One. And Alan Jones' car, I mean, Alan, Alan is, uh, I mean, was re we had big fight and he's also a good, very good friend there. We were very close also at the time. So every, every, every car is in history, but every car is in history of a human person uh, uh, behind and that is important uh, for, the, for the history, but also for me. And finally, uh, Alan, to everyone that's here in Dubai, for everyone that's in the UAE that's never got a taste of this sort of festival, of this sort of atmosphere, what would you say to them to come over and watch uh, this Dubai GP revival? Uh, take, uh, take a couple of hours to see what it is and uh, to feel this atmosphere, to feel and to hear the noise of this engine that you never <laughs> hear again, you know? So, yeah, come here, it's perfect. Yeah. Yeah, we've got goosebumps listening to the engines, goosebumps talking to you. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Take care. Have a good one.